Hey everyone, it's Liz with The Hug Life in collaboration with Sweet Stamp Shop, and today we're bringing it back to basics and talking about embossing, or what I like to call super magic fun times with stamps. And if you don't know what embossing is, you'll see in a second what I mean by magic. Embossing adds texture and dimension to your projects. It's so easy, even I can do it. That means you can do it. Today I'm using this stamp set called Gnomes. So cute, I love those two little gnomes. The little boy and little girl gnome are just adorable. You will need some pigment ink, any color ink is fine, whatever you wanna use, as well as some embossing powder. Embossing powder like ink comes in a plethora of colors. You will need a heat tool, as well as a sheet of paper to catch any of the embossing powder that might fall, or a tray like this one that I have. I also recommend using some painter's tape or washi to hold down your project when we heat it with some heat. There we go, yeah, that's what I wanna say, woo! So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my craft mat down so I don't ruin my new desk. Yay for new desk! And I'm gonna take out my stamp set and I think today we're gonna work with this cute little girl. I love her braid. There was something about the braided detail that really just, it did it for me. I'm using some, um, very cheap cardstock I found at Michael's. I cut it down to size, and now I'm just inking up my stamp. And I'm gonna go ahead and use even firm pressure and just press. Ta-da, she looks so cute, even without um, embossing powder. But we're gonna kick it up a notch, like my good friend, Emeril Lagassier might say. You're just gonna douse it with powder. I mean, cover the Shih Tzu out of it. Yeah, where'd she go? Exactly, you wanna cover that on up. And then you wanna funnel any of the excess powder back into the little container. Ta-da! Look, I didn't even need the tray, I was so neat. And as always, because I learned this the hard way, put that cap back on that jar of powder because <laughs> if you don't, maybe a stray elbow will knock it off and maybe you'll spend a whole afternoon cleaning it up. Let's just say that might have happened a while ago. I'm using some painter's tape to hold down my image so that it doesn't curl up on my cardstock. I'm hitting it with some heat with my heat tool and just watch. Ready? It's gonna just go all magic-y. Yay! Magic time! I feel like Harry Potter or Hermione. Yeah, I think I'd rather be Hermione. I feel like Hermione. That's how magical I feel. And I'm running my finger over it because it's a raised texture and it feels awesome. And I just wanted to show you side by side, I'm just inking up the image again. Just the difference it makes, you can see in shine and in texture. Ah, it's so cute. It looks so awesome. Now you can use this on cards, on tags. I've used embossing on my planner because I'm fancy like that. And you can just see how the light catches it and how it just adds an amazing raised dimension to your projects. Anyways guys, I hope that was helpful. Please go ahead and visit sweetstampshop.com to see more amazing stamps and accessories. Again, I'm Liz with The Hug Life and I'll catch you guys later. Bye guys!